So one of the best ways to get great nutrition is to grow your own. And if you live in the country, that's easy. If you live on a farm, or even if you have a nice suburban backyard plot, you can grow your own fruits and vegetables, annuals, perennials. But what if you don't have any of that? What if you've never grown anything before? I'm going to show you today how to grow your own health food store on your kitchen counter. And I'm talking, of course, about sprouting. So here we have a bunch of different types of things you can sprout. Seeds. Here are mung beans. All the uh, little, little green beans with teeny little slits there where they start to open up. Um, here I have a mix from Sprout House. It has radish, alfalfa, clover, and broccoli. Uh, these are just ordinary brown or green lentils. And then I have a couple others here. I have a, a whole bag from Jaffe Brothers, um, radish seeds, and fenugreek. And there's dozens more things you can sprout. And you'll, once you get the hang of it, you can start experimenting. So one of the great things about sprouting is it's really cheap. So this uh, is just, I just got this in bulk at a health food store. Um, probably, you know, this much, a handful, which will make a good salad portion, maybe five, ten cents. So let's talk about how you do it and what you need. So you can get very specialized. There are, for, for example, um, is a, a specialized sprouter, and I'll put links to where you can get all this. I think I got this on Amazon for like ten bucks. Um, and it's got, over here, a little aerating thing that's big enough to let air in and water out, but it keeps the seeds in. And it sits in here and cover it to protect it from bugs. That is great for not having much space. Um, I use a method with uh, ball jars, and they always come with a lid and a band. And you just take the lid, remove it, and I went to the hardware store and I bought some screening. So I'm like, uh, not metal, but sort of a cloth screening, cut it into squares, and you can just put the lid on, the band on top of that, and turn it like this into a little bowl, and that will help you sprout as well. If you don't have any of those things, if you have a sieve and a bowl, you can sprout a whole bunch of things that way. So let me show you how to do it. So let's start with the ball jar. So you're going to start with, let's take mung beans. They're pretty much the easiest and quickest to grow. If you start them um, this morning, you can start eating them tomorrow morning, and by tomorrow evening, they'll look pretty good. So we're going to take... So uh, this will fill up the jar about halfway. And as you do it, you'll get better at sort of navigating exactly how much you want to do. So the first thing we do is we need to soak them for about 12 hours in good water. I got some good water here. You want to cover them about three to four times in water because they will expand. You don't want them to reach out of the water and go dry. So then they're just going to sit there for 12 hours and you just put them on a counter. Just like that. You can cover them if you're worried about bugs getting in. But you don't have to do anything else. I'm just going to put the band on. Then after 12 hours, so if you start this today in the morning, then before you go to bed, you're going to take it and you're going to pour out the water. And you can rinse it off and just so that you can see it's sitting there and it's kind of wet. So now they're going to be start growing. And you're going to just leave them like that. And then every 12 hours you're just going to rinse them with more water. Five, ten seconds, just kind of mix them up. You see there's a little bit of discoloration, kind of a little bit of dirt. So you're going to do that, hold it 10, 15 seconds, and then pour that out again. And in between now, after the first 12 hours, you're going to keep it at about a 45 degree angle. They have fancy things for doing this. You can put it on a drying rack. I just like to use a little bowl. And then again, after a day and a half or so, you will end up with yummy sprouts. This is about, I started this yesterday, um, two nights ago actually, so it's about noon, so this is about uh, a day and a half worth of sprouting. So let's uh, open that up, and you now you can see, yummy, delicious, 
crunchy, so they have nice crunch to salad. You don't have to throw in croutons or stuff like that, bacon bits. This is your natural crunch. And they have a very nice mild flavor. Sometimes I'll just eat these, just make a giant bowl of them with salsa. And that's that method. Let's take a look at one more method, the um, sieve. So if you don't have one of these ball jars, you're just going to take your sprouts and put them in a sieve. Again, you're going to want to put them in a bowl or a glass or something for 12 hours, but after that, all you need to do is just keep them in the sieve and keep them a little bit damp. So because there's more surface area, you might have to wet them more than every 12 hours. You might do it twice a day. You can take them to your office, pretend it's a little pet. And just leaving it like that, within a couple of days, you will have yummy, delicious sprouts. Now, if you've ever seen mung bean sprouts at a Chinese restaurant or at a grocery store, they tend to be very long and white without any green. It's hard to get them that way. You can see these are the babies. If you, um, if you prefer those, you'll need to get special equipment. These taste just as good. They take a lot less time. They take up a lot less space. And it is a fantastic way to grow your very own health food shop in your very own house. Thanks for watching.